All right, it's the 10th of May, and I'm here to see uh, here Prolo Austin, see Dr. Fullerton um, bright and early, and uh, just went over with the medical assistant. I don't know her official p position, but just went over with her all the various aches and pains that I have that hopefully he can deal with. Um, kind of triage them as uh, my uh, lower left uh, back is first, then my right hip area, and then shoulder, and then maybe the jaw. Um, the jaw is definitely uh, be the cherry on the top if uh, he can get to that, but um, hopefully uh, we'll be able to address everything. Um, uh, yeah, so now that they have my information, and Dr. Fullerton has figured out how much blood that they need to draw. I think he's going to draw out 180 cc's. Uh, now I just need to wait for a little bit until the machine is ready, I think, and then uh, then they will draw my blood. So, until then. Oh, also, random thing. Uh, like, third time in the past two weeks, somebody has said I look like uh, a, a young uh, Baldwin. So, I'm guessing it's the hair. I, I, I don't know. I don't see it, but whatever <laughs> all right well i'm lying here because they just drew uh there you go they just drew the blood and uh the medical assistants gave me chocolate and water um just waiting a little bit before i get back up and then dr Fulano is going to come in and do his diagnostic magic looking forward to it all right, well, Dr. Fullerton has just nerve blocked the damage in my uh, iliocostal, which is here. This lower back muscle that goes between the ribs and the spine. And uh, also some uh, lat uh, that attaches to like the lumbar. And so now that it's numb, things feel they're getting a kick out of this. Hello. And, um, now that it's numbed, it doesn't hurt. It's uh, so it's without pain, which feels really abnormal. So I'm gonna try doing some things that typically hurt and see if they don't hurt. And But in order to do those things, I need both hands. So it'll be done off camera. All right, well, Dr. Fulton has just spent the past, I guess, hour and a half. Uh, poking and prodding me. Um, seems that we found damage in the iliocostal, uh, ninth through 12th rib, or 8th through 12th rib. Um, that, I think, is causing a problem with pulling my shoulder blade back and down. Might also be causing some of the lower back pain I have in my QL. Uh, so, I'd like to shout out to my massage therapist who pointed out that my ilio costal did not feel right. That was why we went looking at that particular spot. Um, she, my massage therapist, also said something wasn't quite right with like my L2 erector, and uh, Dr. Fullerton looked at that, and L2 erector seemed to be okay, but the L1 was not. So uh, seemed to have some damage to the muscles and ligaments around the L1. That's obviously something you want to have fixed. Uh, he also looked at my glute on uh, my right side, and uh, I think the issue he thinks is the glute min instead of the glute med. So we're going to treat that, and um, I think I guess that's really all we have time for. He thinks the iliocostal really will help with uh, uh, my lower back my, and with my uh, QL. Uh, I know my QL sometimes really gets in pain, um, but I'm guessing he didn't find anything there, so maybe it's a, just the a iliocostal. So, uh, so yeah, he's, he's actually taking a break, or not taking a break, he's having to deal with some business, but um, and he's gonna come back and do the actual treatment after spending all this time uh, just uh, diagnosing. So, we'll see how this works out. All right. Whoa. Hi, how are you? 
it's just so strange because I don't, you know, really feel the needle, but the twitches, obviously, I do feel. So, it's very strange. Massage way, either. Oh, oh. There's some twitching. Oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus. Again, Jesus. I know him. <laughs> oh. That's some weak part of the muscle there, dude. No offense. No, I'm none taken. Mm. And by weak, you mean like, not. It's really it's the, not weak in general. It's weak as it's damaged. Yeah, damn it. The structure of the muscle is poor there, so the muscle ah. train the muscle fibers. Right. Whew. And that's what I live for: training muscle fibers. So. You do, man. That's your. That's your thing. That's my mojo. Or <laughs> my ninja way, if you're a Naruto fan. If you're a what? A Naruto, Naruto fan. fan. Huh. <laughs> I guess Because, so. you know, you are quality over quantity. Mm-hmm. This is weird. It's so weird. Just feel it. Being numbed out, but feeling like the pressure from the PRP. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not doing PRP. Well, yet. sorry. <laughs> the pressure from whatever it is that you're injecting. What are you injecting? Lidocaine well, injectors. Okay. Oh. Now that you've had that other uh, software, are you like, man, this is so fuzzy and janky? Oh, no. Yeah. I want more dextro with the black. Oh, okay. Let the man do his job. God. Quit rushing him. Mm-hmm. Is my glute mid? Yeah, I mean, mid's there as well. It's, it's hanging glutes. out too. It's hanging out. Yeah. Joining the party. The glute party. The glute party. All right, well, uh, done with the treatment. Um, now to drive back from Austin to Dallas. Uh, this is significant, and uh, lower back definitely feels different, um, as well as my hip. To recap he treated the iliocostal um he treated the lat where the lat kind of goes into the lumbar area and also treated ligaments and stuff around the uh, lumbar um, vertebrae so that's all for the left side uh, back area and then uh, the right side he treated the glute min and glute med um lots of spads and lots of nerve jumping so that was pretty significant um and hopefully uh hopefully a lot of improvement will stem from this uh, should be interesting to see how it responds he didn't really address the ql because uh when he nerve blocked the uh other stuff the ql didn't really seem to act up so um We'll see if that ends up being a mistake or not. Uh, regardless, everything that was addressed was pretty significant, as usual. Um, so I guess we just do the physical therapy, we rest, do the physical therapy, and then take it from there and see see what else pops up. So, uh, such a delicate flower. Anyway, this is Adam, signing off.